Last week, the California Vulcans entered the 2011 season with a tough task. Defeat the number 13 ranked St. Cloud State Huskies. St. Cloud quarterback Philip Klapaki scored three times as the Vulcans fell flat, losing 26-3. This week, the Vulcans will attempt to rebound against the CW Post Pioneers. Last season, the Vulcans dominated the Pioneers in their meetings, cruising to a 27-point victory. It's CW Post in California, next on CUTV. As we enter week two of the 2011 NCAA football season, the Vulcans' 400-mile trek to Long Island is repaid as it is the CW Post Pioneers' turn to make the visiting trip to Adamson Stadium. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Will Moore. Alongside me is my colleague and broadcast partner, Scott Majeski. Scott, it's a beautiful day out here for another football game as long as the weather holds up. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. So thing. Hewer will line up again from shotgun. Three wide receivers. Drops back, and he's going to find number nine up the middle, and it's going to be coughed up and picked up by number three. That's Patrick Swearinger with a huge fumble recovery out of the air. What a hit right there, popping that ball loose. Patrick Swearinger was like a rebound at a basketball hoop, just jumping up right up in the air, grabbing it down. That's a great way to stop, because that would have been a first down play for CW Post. Let's see who the player is for the California that knocks that ball loose. It looked like number 31, Eric Harris, I believe. And that's a great opportunity. Now Peter Lalek has a chance to put the Vulcans on the board first. Yeah, the Vulcans always bringing one of the best defenses to Division II football. The last few years, they've been stellar. Now it's going to be the offense's turn as Peter Lalek will come out under center and he's going to hand it off. Now it's going to be a play action fake. He's going deep down the field. Thomas Mayo's there. Touchdown. California Vulcans on the very first play. How about that to get this game started? Well, if anybody had any doubts after week one that Peter Lalek and this offense was going to struggle this year, first play, play action. CW Post bites, and Mayo with the speed just passes through. Look at all the CW Post players trailing, and Mayo just catches it like it was a warm-up. 7-0 Cal, and Eric Harris with that big hit to force that fumble, all leading to that touchdown for the Vulcans. Thomas Mayo was Peter Lalek's favorite target last week as the kick is up and good. California leads 7-0. Edwin Gowans will come back in on the goal line. First and goal from the three yard line. And it's gonna be a handoff to Gowans and he's gonna pound his way in for the Vulcans touchdown. 13, nothing. California off the handoff and the run by Edwin Gowans. Take a look at this replay. Watch the blocking, just great blocking. Thomas May, you can't see it on that replay. Lalek put him in motion. He's coming for a crack backside. Takes out one of the outside linebackers of the CW Post Pioneers. And Gowans basically just walked in there, had to lower his shoulder a bit. But you know when you're that power running back for this Vulcan squad, you need to do your job. And that's lower your shoulder inside the goal line. Great offensive drive for these Cal Vulcans. Cody Nuzo in to kick. And the kick is up and good. And California leads 14-0 off the Edwin Gowans touchdown. Vulcan football continues next on CUTV, 14-0 California. Well, as the Pioneers have punted away, and this one's going to get blocked partially by the Vulcans. It's going to be scooped up by number one, Mario Washington, and he will take it into the end zone. Touchdown, California. Special teams playing a huge part here early in the first quarter. 20-0 California. The man we talked about in the open, Ron Tez Miles. All he did was tackle players last year, uh, last week. This week he blocks a punt, which leads to the touchdown. Look at Ron Tez Miles fly in there, blocks the punt, and then Washington just scoops it up. Looked like CW Post players thought the ball was dead. Washington didn't hear a whistle, takes it to the house for six, and the Vulcans are running away with this one early, ahead 20 nothing. Cody. Ball snapped, handed off to Beverly, and that's in for the touchdown. CW Post, you see Tyler Hewer selling that fake all the way through the play. This is a great confidence booster for this Pioneers team, and Hewer, the freshman, as he leads his team down with a 
touchdown drive. It comes off a great defensive turnover and a great defensive play from the Pioneers. California had a chance. They had him in third down. Just a mind fart on the defensive tackle for the miscue offsides. It's going to be another handoff to Gowans up the right side again. And this time, CW Post will bend as California scores another touchdown. Edwin Gowans is second of the day up the right side this time. Another great blocking outside. That's just leading to the receivers blocking. And you can see, looks like Mayo there pushing his guy into the inside and making room for Gowans to just scoot on by into the far pylon and get the six for the Cal Balkans. First to 10 from midfield for Lalek. He's pumps once, now he's gonna fire and find his receiver who's free down the field. That's Thomas Mayo and he is gone. California touchdown. Anytime, anywhere, Thomas Mayo is a threat to take it all the way, and he does right here. Well, Mayo comes at a complete stop when he makes this catch. Take a look at this replay. Blake just drops back. This is going to be a quick curl route as the pump fake fakes everybody out. And then Mayo catches it, and Mayo just flies down the field. Great speed, reason why he's a preseason All American for this Cal Vulcan squad. And he'll be making noise all season long if Layla can keep finding him. Gowans will remain in the game as a single back. Lalik's going to hand it off again, and Gowans is going to take this one into the end zone, straight up the middle. Gowans, California Gowans scores again. Edwin Gowans pretty much carried that drive on its back the entire way, and California is just rolling here, 40 to 6. Gowans with his third rushing touchdown, and why not? He's the workhorse of this offense today, him and Thomas Mayo. Third, care, third touchdown run for the running back senior, Edwin Gaines. The kick is up, and that kick is good. This time, Cody Nuzzo gets it in. That'll make it 41 to six, California. Off. Very good job collecting that replay by our camera operators. As on first and goal here, it's gonna be taken and Punched into the end zone, a touchdown for the Pioneers. They double their score. It's 41-12, CW Post taking advantage of that face mask penalty.